Listen up, noble team. We're looking at a down relay outpost 50 clicks from Visegrad. We're gonna introduce ourselves to whoever took it out, and then Cat's gonna get it back online. Get me under the hood, Commander. Sir, why would Rebels want to cut off reach from the rest of the colonies? You got a chance, maybe you can ask him, George. Commander, we just lost our signal with HQ. Backup channels. Searching. Nada. Can't say what's jamming us. You heard her. Dead zone confirmed. Command will not be keeping us company this trip. I'm lonely already. That landing zone has been tagged by UNSC command as the priority one target. Discharge link is loud and clear. Copy that. Acquiring signal lock on the pylon. Detonating in three, two. Might want to hold on to something. Hmm? <clears throat> Get us out of here. Control, this is Noble One. Spire One is green and you're free to engage. Have a nice day. Copy that, Noble One. Be advised, all ground units. Frigate 318 Heavy is inbound, and MAC rounds have been authorized. MAC rounds? In atmosphere? One way to get their attention. Hang on to your teeth, people. Somebody tell me this ain't happening. UNSC frigate Grafton, do you copy? Grafton is dust. We need to get out of here now. is more devious than we imagined. That spire was indeed a teleporter linked to a cloaked Covenant supercarrier, a grave threat. Thankfully, help is imminent. 60% of the UNSC fleet is en route to reach from existing deployments. The first battle group should arrive within 48 uh. hours. 48 hours? That's imminent? Uh-oh. Who's your money on this time? Huh. You always pick her. Hmm. She's always had him dialed in. That thing's crushing us and we're waiting for backup. They'll be backing up a graveyard. All our nukes are either out system or went down with the ships that carried them. You're preaching to the converted. How converted? I know that look, Kat. You can say no. No. You don't even want to hear it? <laughs> Fine, I'll hear it. Remember that accident a couple years back? Colony ship en route to Cygnus, 700 dead. Vaguely a slip space drive malfunction, right? Actually, it worked fine. The drive was mounted improperly after a service haulout. When it fired, it teleported half the ship to oblivion. And this is relevant. How? A certain Covenant supercarrier could, with some assistance, suffer the same unfortunate accident. Even for you, Cat, that's... Inspired? Not the word I would use. What's going on? Go ahead. Explain. May I? Don't cut yourself. Objective? Destroy Covenant Carrier in geosynchronous orbit above us. Who thanks you, sir? What do you think? Oh. Method? A slip space drive in lieu of the nukes we don't have. Delivery system? Us. Solvable? Getting us up there. That and getting our hands on a slip space drive. 
Thank you for sharing. So, all we need is orbit-capable transport and the single most expensive piece of equipment made by man. As a soldier in the field, I couldn't possibly have access to those kinds of resources. That said, a good place to look might be, I don't know, the nearest non-existent launch site in the non-existent Sabre program dismissed by three administrations as preposterous rumor, and in which our newest member was certainly never a pilot. It's scary, you know that. All we need is a green light from Holland. Good luck with that. You're the one asking him. Well, there's no way in hell he's going to go for this.